In Good Shape, your health magazine on DW, featuring an interview with a different expert every week. I'm here with Dr. Ralf Hartmann. He's the medical director of the military hospital in Berlin and the head of the dermatology clinic. Thanks for inviting me into your clinic. If I've got a flu, this is caused by viruses and my immune system usually can get rid of those viruses. Uh, why is it that in cold sores caused by the herpes simplex virus, this is not the case? Uh, that is because this virus you have in your body and for example when your immune system is not working very well uh, this virus takes its chance to re-duplicate itself and then you get uh, what you can see here on that picture. So do you have any pills and medication that can get rid of this virus at all? To be honest it's not possible to get rid of this virus because we only can stop this reduplication of uh, the virus uh, you cannot, uh, let's say, kill this. So what's your best weapon against it? We have virostatics uh, since end of the 70s. They came from uh, Great Britain where they were invented. And that is uh, uh, quite a good thing that we have them because a lot of viruses, uh, especially this herpes virus, they can cause some really strong diseases. Many of my patients uh, come to my office with those kinds of um, cold sores and they want to have some cream to put on it. And those creams may contain virostatic drugs. So is it a wise idea to do this? Well, uh, when my patient asked me, uh, should I use them? I would say, no, it's not necessary because they, are, they come too late. You cannot uh, stop the virus from reduplicating because this happens on an, uh, in another place. When patients say, uh, but uh, I have good experience with it, I keep the patient, uh, okay, then you can use it. But uh, actually they don't work. So they don't work because the virus is not replicated inside the skin because it's replicating somewhere else in the body, namely in the nerve structures. Yeah. And the, the, the cream is not getting there. No. Okay. It's not possible. Yeah. So, so, so what about herbal drugs, like, like home remedies, if you put this on them? Well, it's okay. If you have good experience with it, if a patient says, uh, I'm fine with it, uh, uh, leave the patients with that. If I've got a patient with this kind of cold sore, you don't really need to treat it at all. I mean, it's itchy a little bit, but it's not dangerous. But there are some cases where you absolutely have to treat herpes. Yeah, uh, that is the case when uh, the immune system of the patient is not working very well. When you have this, it's okay. Here you see a little bit more and here all the lip is infected and you can see here it's spreading around yeah. and uh, this patient already knows it. Uh, when I have this, uh, she's in danger of getting it in the eye. That's uh, not so nice, it's even dangerous for your eye. So it's inside the eyeball actually? Yeah, it's possible yeah. to get from, uh, from the mouse to the eye and the next patient uh, she has atopic dermatitis and uh, the skin with patients with atopic dermatitis cannot help itself good against the herpes virus. So that's and it's all spreading from the herpes yeah, inside the face. Yeah, came from here and spreading all over the body and those patients they don't feel very well and you have to admit them to the hospital. And, and what do you do then? Do you give pills? We uh, treat this uh, with virostatics mm -hmm. uh, and um, we are very happy that we can do it. Because in earlier times we, when we didn't have them, you just could wait if the immune system wins or the virus wins. And, and this means the patient could even die? Yes, that's possible. Because this spreads to the organs as well? Yeah, and uh, the herpes virus, of the whole group of this virus, uh, likes the nerve system. It uh, has, has an attraction to the nerve system and even to your brain. So cold sores or herpes virus infections are virus infections of the skin, which could spread to other organs. And there are different viral diseases of the skin. One of the most known are shingles. And this could be dangerous too. We just saw that the herpes zoster virus is in many cases more serious than the herpes simplex virus. And in many cases you even have to treat your patients as inpatients in the hospital. So why is that? Well, when we see shingles on the head or big areas of the skin are affected or you have patients with a not very good working immune system, then we take the patients inside our hospital and treat them here. But what can you do what a GP at the office can't? Well, we uh, can uh, escalate our um, 
possibilities to treat it give virostatics, IV and uh, treat the pain that uh, comes along with shingles so we have more possibilities and we can uh, monitor the patients when we have them here. And, and can you even alter the disease, the cause of the disease, for instance stop it from spreading? Well, uh, we have to stop the virus from replicating, that's what we can do. And when uh, the immune system of the, of the patient is not working very well, we can uh, give, in addition, IV immune global lines to stop it. So how do you decide when you have to admit the patient to the hospital? We see here a picture of shingles, so is this a case where you would like to treat them inside the hospital? Well, when the patient is doing well, it's okay uh, to treat it uh, in your private practice. Uh, when the patient is not doing that well, you will send him here. We will see the patient, for example, in our emergency room and decide what we have to do next. And um, it depends. Yeah. And, and usually those things can spread. Yes, uh, here we see a, a more or less normal uh, skin disease here with little uh, vesicles and uh, when you see it here on the forehead, close to the eye, close to the nerve system, close to the brain in the end, uh, this patient we would take in our hospital and treat him right here. Are those vesicles the first sign of shingles? No, a lot of patients have pain long before we can see something on the skin because the replication of the virus happens in a nerve node and uh, it only comes when, when your immune system is not working good enough to um, bring the virus down, then it comes to these uh, vesicles on the skin. Treating shingles is one thing, preventing them would be a more generous thing to do. And there are some vaccines outside there. Right? Yeah, we have them uh, since several years now. There are even uh, ways to uh, improve this um, shots, uh, they're working on it and we would love to see it because when we see what shingles can do with patients, especially with older patients that with, with a bad immune system uh, and when they have this pain after having uh, the, uh, shingles, um, so it would be a good idea um, to help these patients with vaccines. And who should get immunized? In Germany uh, we advise uh, the patients from the year of 50. For example, in Great Britain it's from the 60s birthday. Um, that is a good idea for getting the shot. We got a viewer question from Mexico. Max Schlicht writes that for the last six years he's had the shingles on the left side of his face and constant pain in this area. What can you do about this? Uh, having this constant pain, that's the biggest problem after having shingles, herpes zoster. Um, we see this in elderly patient and uh, most times on the head this patient needs to see a pain specialist and they should do whatever they can and for example when we treat the patients right here in the hospital we ask our patients please not be brave tell us when you have pain so that we can give you painkillers. Because on the, on the other hand it would get, get chronic. Yeah, the they pain system uh, keeps this pain even when the virus is not working anymore. Uh, the, this node is uh, ruined and giving the pain signal to the brain. Dr. Altmann, thanks so much for inviting me today into your clinic.